this one. Oh, oh. Oh. Thank you for the life of this baby that you've given to us. We ask you to protect his body, soul, and mind. We pray that his parents may continually find favor in your sight. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Baby boy. Have you eaten something? No, um, they came in barely 10 minutes before you arrived. Oh, honey, I feel so tired. I feel like sleeping till tomorrow. Come on, I, I know childbearing is not easy. <laughs> what was that? Don't worry, don't worry. That shouldn't uh, walk you up. Hmm? Honey, I will you stay with us tonight? See that? You know I love to stay with you both forever. But I've got to be at work early enough tomorrow. Honey, please stay with us tonight. Don't leave us, please. Oh, come on, honey. A Anita will be back from her trip, you know, tomorrow, and she can come stay with you. Hmm? Okay? Now, let me see my baby. You notice this mark was not here a moment ago. What mark? Right on his forehead. Honey, please. As the baby is just born, 
know we are here to discover all that is in him. Check it, you. It's like he crossed in an upside down position. Oh, honey, please, please. We've just prayed over this baby. Please. It's more like a bed mark than a crystal. Okay. Little boy. <laughs> anyway, it's time for me to leave, you know. It's late and the town is not safe. Honey, are you really not staying with us tonight? Uh, come on, honey. We'll be together again. Hmm? Come on. You know, I mean, I love you so much. I love you too. Take good care of my baby. Little boy. Yeah, you'll be home soon, okay? Bye. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are so kind. Uh -oh. Oh. Uh, um, yeah. That's a strange name. Where are you from? <laughs> well, I'm from Akwaibo. My, uh, my, my grandmother gave me a can number, but my father shortened it to Ekans. Mm. Is that so? Um, how long have you been in us? For a year now. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, God. What a beautiful baby. Oh, handsome. Since he's a guy. Yes. Handsome. <laughs> I can't stop being grateful to God. I've had four miscarriages. Mm. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Ah. What's that? I have pains in my lower tongue.
Wake up, madam. Your baby has been crying for long. Madam, madam, what kind of sleep is this? Okay, okay, I know you're tired, but you have to suckle your baby. He's been crying. I didn't cry. Oh, I thought I was dreaming. Gets out, we we might all have our licenses seized or withdrawn, and we might even go to jail. It will not get to that, sir. Shut up. By the way, you were in duty with Linda, and I want a comprehensive report in thirty minutes from now. All right? Yes, sir. Metro, you may leave with the nurses while the doctors stay behind. Lady and gentlemen. We obviously seem to have a problem on our hands. I think we should report the matter first, the police. Yes, the police. But what are you going to tell them? Before you know it, we are on in detention for suspected kidnapping and possible murder. No, that can't be possible. 
we all are professionals here. We will get the Nigerian Medical Association to intervene in this matter. Look at the way you're talking like the children. Please, Nigerian Medical Association, professionals. How much professionalism have we shown here? I mean, how much of it? How on earth can anybody tell me that a snake came into this world, swallowed a baby and vanished, and you want me to show that crucifix to the world? We're in trouble. Serious trouble. Sir, I still think we should alert the police before they come for their investigation and start picking us up like rats. My young doctor, I don't have any problem with the police. My problem is what do we say? What do we say for heaven's sake? I don't want to look ridiculous before my colleagues. I even want to find out how this incident happened. Now, if I may ask, did this next one be I don't think so, sir. But I believe it was diabolical. In my hospital? Sir, I think what happened was that the baby disappeared to some spiritual powers. As for the snake, I think the mother was simply hallucinating. Now listen to yourself. Spiritual powers. What spiritual powers are more than the power of God and to abduct a newborn baby? Where did this cross come from? And where is the snake now? These are some of the questions we must have before we ever think of going to the police. I'm afraid we're in trouble. Very serious trouble. And where's the mother of the baby? She's still in the ward, but she requested moving out. She's so scared of the room. Even with you, has the husband been informed? No, sir. Fine. Now we have to move in fast to create a mental picture of our innocence on the mind of the woman, such that when Hotham comes, he might see reason with us. I think that's it. Thank you. Let it be. Put my soul in the forest. 
until I find my baby. Tent for our life. Madam, please come. Your baby will be found and return to you this evening. That I can assure you. Otherwise, I swear I can't after you and everybody here with everything I have. Mr. Clark, I'd like to remind you that man proposes and God disposes. And Dr. Lucy, um, prepare her discharge papers. Leave all the bills. The hospital will take charge. Okay? <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. Listen, listen. Just, just take it easy. Okay? You know what I'm going through. Come on. He was my baby too. Look, I feel the same way. Sergeant, you're welcome. Thank you. Please come. We would like to express our deepest sympathy over the loss of your, your baby. But that's why we are here, and we can assure you that we will do everything within our means to find the baby. to try and remember all that happened while you were in the hospital. It will help us. Last night, I had my baby. Everything was fine. We were later put in a private ward, well taken care of. Later on, my husband came, and we, we all stayed together. <laughs> Madam, it's okay. Just be strong. <laughs> I begged him to stay with us, but he couldn't because he had to go to work the next day. 
Then, before he left, something happened. Yeah. What happened? When he came, he carried the baby and cuddled him. And then, suddenly, he noticed there was a strange mark on the baby's forehead. And then, frankly, I didn't see the mark there before. Wait a minute. You, you, you talked about the mark. What mark is that? It looked like a cross in an upside down position. And interestingly, after the baby disappeared, a crucifix in an upside down position was placed in the baby's court. And there were better fish in the story. I just, I just told him that since the baby was just born, there are lots to discover about him. And then he left. I went to sleep and about. 12 midnight, one of the nurses came and then said that the baby was crying and she stayed with us and I complained about having pains on my lower abdomen and then she gave me an hygiene injection and left. I went to sleep at about 2 a.m. One, one of the nurses came, I can't quite remember her name now. And she woke me up and my baby was crying. I was still feeling sleepy and drowsy. And then I can't remember, but I think she carried the baby and then put him back in the cot. Well, madam, from if I may take it by your words, you said you were somewhat drowsy. Are you sure she put the baby back in the cot? I'm sure she put the baby back in the cot. When I woke up this morning, what I saw was a big snake. And then I, I shouted, Jesus. And then it vanished from my very eyes. And then I shouted, I screamed, I must have fainted. I see. Uh, uh, madam, is that all? Uh, yes, um, the next thing I remember was a lot of people were in my room trying to wake me up, you know. And then, yeah, uh, I can remember the nurse name now is uh, Linda. Then later on, they said a, a crucifix was found in the baby's cot. A crucifix? Now, madam, from what you said, I want to ask you again. If you actually saw them there putting the baby inside the court. Oh, I'm, I'm confused now. But I know she put the baby back in the court. And then, but when I went to carry the baby this morning, it was a snake that I saw. It means the last time you saw your baby, your baby was with Linda. Oh, please, I, I don't want to implicate an innocent person here. How are you sure that she's innocent? Now, that brings us back to the issue of you being drowned. Were you in any way sedated? I was only given an anagen injection. How are you sure, madam, that it was an anagen that was actually given to you? Because it looked off. I see. By the way, we will be on our way now.
until I am strongly counting on you. You will have my word. I will do everything to ensure that um, whoever is responsible for this heinous crime uh, will be uncovered and punished accordingly. That I can assure you. And I'm going to be very happy with that. I will be the happiest oh. man if my baby is found and returned to me. You can't imagine how I feel inside of me. I mean, six years after, six years of childlessness. Look, officer, I was just with myself in there. I, I, I do understand. I do perfectly understand. Oh my God. I want to let you know that you will get justice. That I can assure you. It's only a matter of time. Right. And I want to thank you so very much for asking me to come to my call. I will always be there for you. Just count on me. My word is my word. Be assured that um, the culprit must be brought to over. That's okay. Let me I know, run out. I know I can count on you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Safe journey. Thank you. What do you think of this case? It's too early to conclude, but if you ask me, I would say that um, someone kidnapped that child. Anyway, I think we should review the activities of those two nurses. Yeah, but that's what we're doing, isn't it? Sir, do you think that a snake can actually vanish just like that? A snake? Vanish? Yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in all those superstitious rubbish. Hmm? How can something physical vanish? Then what about a crucifix? Remember, the woman said something about a crucifix. Crucifix? Yeah. I don't believe in those things. I am an atheist, remember? I know, but that doesn't stop us from investigating thoroughly, does it? Does but that is what we're doing, isn't it? Are we not investigating? Yeah, that's what we're doing. So, you know what? Something in me keeps telling me that those nurses know something. I suspect those nurses. Well, we shall soon find out. We shall soon find out. You don't seem convinced about this whole theory of disappearance. Now, listen to me, son. We are in a physical world, and there is no link between what is physical and what is not. I mean, if there was a baby in that court, that means someone must have carried away the baby. It's as simple as that. Now, now that takes us back to the same question that I asked before. What about the snake? The woman said she saw a snake in the court. Oh, come on. Come on, think. You are an officer, an experienced officer for that matter. I mean, she was only hallucinating, don't you understand? How can a snake vanish? Come on, how? With due respect, sir, I think what we need to do now is you need to go home, you know, take your wife and kids out. I'll do the same. Because we need to forget this whole investigation. Why? Because you seem to have concluded everything in your mind. Now, Sam, do you know you are talking to your superior officer? Come on, what's wrong with you? What has come over you? I'm sorry, sir. I'm just trying to be realistic. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. Oh, come on. Let's go to the hospital. We shall soon find out things about them. Um, what about my idea? Monday? We don't have time left. Come on, let's go. We can bring it later. Sir, this is my intimidation, no. This is my intimidation, no.
Hello, yeah, madam. Yes, um, we are detectives from the police station. My name is Jim, and that's my colleague Sam. We are here to investigate the case of the suspect three. So we'd like to talk with you on two of the nurses who were on duty at the time of the incident. Oh, fine. Let me call them. Parents, last night we were with the mother and her baby and they were fine. Early this morning we heard her screaming and when we rushed there, we saw her collapsed and we tried and revived her and she was trembling all over. And the next thing she said was that she, she went to the court to pick her baby and she found a snake and all of a sudden the snake disappeared. That's all. No, that's not all. You were the last to see the baby and as such, the both of you are suspects. Now listen to me, ladies. I want to do a thorough job. And if I find out that both of you know more than you are telling us now, you leave me with no option than to be very hard on you. Do I make myself clear? Sir, we are telling you the truth. I was the last person to see the baby because the mother was very weak and sleepy. So I took the baby and rocked him to sleep. Then I put the baby in the cot. There was nothing strange until she screamed in the morning. Are you sure no one entered the world after you left? Sir, it's not possible for anyone to get into the world without passing through us. Let alone come out with a baby and pass the gates. Do you sleep at night? Yeah, we sleep, but we don't sleep at the same time. We yes, take turns. Officer, I want to tell you something. Whatever happened to that baby is spiritual. What do you mean, spiritual? If it's not spiritual, how can a baby vanish from its court without a trace? Where did this night come from? And who put the crucifix inside the baby cot? Are you now asking us? No, I'm just trying to rationalize with you. Well, leave that for the police to unravel. But I will disappoint you, Matron. I am not superstitious. But I promise you, we will find out who took that baby. When we find out, it will be very hard. My dear, um, how so it all? Mm -hmm. I just came back with no baby. Yeah, it's okay. I can't still believe that my baby is gone. It's okay. Please stop crying. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Please. But anyway, I'm just believing in God. I know. I know that He is somewhere. Yeah, my keep believing in God. You must surely give him another baby. <laughs> Okay, please. It's okay. It's okay. I know, I know. It's okay. Don't worry. Go and give you another baby. Oh, Father. May the peace of the Lord be upon this house. Please be with you, Father. It's kind of you to come. Um, you're welcome. Please sit down. Or do you want us to go outside? No, it's okay. We can stay okay. here. Um, darling! Our father is here. All right, Okay. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, All right then. Oh, father, Mr. Clark. So nice to have you. Well, thank you very much. I came as soon as I heard what had happened. It's a terrible thing that happened. Um, but um, we are believing in God to return our baby. That is the correct thing to do at times like this. 
The Bible tells us to cast our burdens upon the Lord and He will make them light for us. You know, Father, I am not one bit surprised at what has happened. Really? How so? The day my child was born, I was at the hospital. When I held my baby in my arms, you can imagine that the first thing I'll do would be to look at his face. Father, there was absolutely nothing wrong on his, you know, with his face. His face was perfectly okay. But after a few minutes, I noticed there was a mark on his forehead which looked like an inverted crucifix. Lord have mercy. Just like that? Just like that, Father. Just like that. <sighs> Mr. Clark, these are troubled times we live in. My advice to both of you, which you may find difficult to take, is uh, to forget that child. It's an evil child. God forbid! My baby is not evil. Madam, just as some children are born to God, so are others born to Satan. Such children are children of perdition. Such a child might have grown up to become a terror. A Damien, if you like, if you remember the film, The Omen? Yes. 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 So, when God wants to avert such a crisis for you, who are we to question him? That doesn't mean that he will not sit by and watch while his children suffer calamities, hardships. Could be a test of your faith. You know you could be right, Father. Not that I could be right, I am right. There is a lot of sense in what you said, Father. But um, I don't still believe that that innocent little angel was evil. Good day, Lord. Oh, officer. Oh, you're welcome. Please sit down. Uh, I, I think I should get another seat. Uh, no, not to worry. I believe you have good news for us now. On the contrary. Uh, we are just from the hospital. A baby that was born last night disappeared this morning. Jesus! No, not again! What was happening? Good gracious. You mean another baby vanished from the same hospital? Yes. And in the same circumstance. Uh, the woman also saw a snake in the curve, and later a crucifix was discovered. And who is this woman? Um, one Mrs. Fola Adeyomo. Wait a minute. Did you say Mrs. Adeyomo? Yes, Mrs. Adeyomo. But, but Father, is that not the same Adeyomo who gave to the church one million naira during harvest? Yes. I'm afraid it is. The wife was pregnant. A few days ago, I spoke with her. What is happening? Officer, please, we have to get to the root of this matter. This is a spiritual problem. Agents of Satan are at work and they must be stopped. Yes. We must declare a period of fasting and prayer in this parish. Exactly. Or else, I mean, things are going out of hand. I can't believe two babies gone just like that. Just, just like that. Uh, madam, I respect your faith, though I don't share it. A serial killer or kidnappers, if I should say, is on our hands. The crucifix that was left on the cradle had the left hand of Christ plucked off. Serial killers do things like that. I don't think this is anything spiritual. Officer, why do you say you do not share our faith? Are you not a Christian? I am not a Christian. I am a naturalist. And a faith, if you say. Pity. Maybe I'll try to convert you. Save your breath, Father. You want to introduce me to a God who cannot even save newborn babies? Not to talk of an adult like me. 
Religion is not about what God can do for you. It's about what you can do for God. I will rather have God do something for me first, Father. Well, officer, at the appointed time, you will come to God. I have to go now. I will come and see you again. Father, you have done so very well. And, I mean, we didn't even give you something oh, to... No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can we pray? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Father, we thank you for the lives of your children here present. We beseech you to grant them the grace to stand firmly by you at this time in their lives. We also remember this day the Adeyemo family who are suffering a similar fate and ask that you grant both families the grace and mercy to withstand the wiles of the enemy and to bear what has happened. And for your child here who is yet to find you, I commit him into your hands and ask that you grant him the grace to come to know you that you reveal yourself to him and make him one of your sheep. All this I ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Officer, accept Christ each day in your life. Eat his flesh and drink his blood. Mr. Clark, Mrs. Clark, I will come and see you again. Father, thank you so very much. Officer, please do get to the root of the matter. We'll do our best. Madam. Thank you. Thanks for coming. come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted. He took bread and gave thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. Gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all men so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Through him, with him, in him, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let us all offer each other the sign of peace.
This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to eat supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring eternal life to us who receive it. During Mass, when we are taking the blood of Jesus, a drop escaped from your lips and dropped on the white tablecloth. When we looked at it, it was real blood. But after Mass, it was no longer there. What did you call it? The blood of Jesus? Yes, Father. But it's supposed to be wine, which by faith we receive as blood. What if it became real blood? Where is your faith? You pray to the Holy Spirit to come upon these gifts and make them the body and blood of Jesus and you turn around to question me? No, Father, we are not questioning you. You know we are in the learning process and strengthens and attracts some curiosity as a human nature. Well, I'm glad you admit you are in the learning process. The Bible says in Matthew 13, 16 to 17, Blessed are your eyes for they see, and your ears for they hear. For assuredly I will say to you, that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see, and they did not see it, and to hear what you hear, and they did not hear it. It's true. Now, do you remember what happened in Matthew 8, 2-4? No, Father. When Jesus healed the leper, by a miracle such as you have seen here today he said to him see that you tell no one but go your way and I'm saying the same thing to you today make sure you tell no one what you saw here today at the station or at the parish is that clear okay father we promise we'll tell no one very good so let's go Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for attending this gathering. I mean, you know that we all have one thing in common, and that is the fact that we all have been victims of kidnappings or disappearances, or better still, spiritual abductions of four precious babies born to us in the last one month. I mean, up till now, the police have no clues whatsoever. And even the nurses that were suspected and detained were in detention when other occurrences happened in the, in the same hospital. And so they have been released and back to work. And we are now back to square one. So, 
I call you here so that I can hear from you what suggestions you have on what next to do. I mean, we can't allow our kids to, to go like that. Of course. Um, thank you very much. I agree with you that the police have no clues and um, we are here to aid ourselves. My suggestion is that we burn the hospital. Whatever is the law, we'll burn it! Yes, we have to burn no, that No, no, yes. Mr. Oji, no! I mean, this matter has gone beyond the hospital. <laughs> has anyone seen the medical director recently? That man is looking sick. I mean, the problem is too much for him to comprehend. Listen, I will advise we leave the hospital out of it. Please. I think I agree with you. We should not do anything to the hospital. Otherwise, the law will hold us liable. And nobody will remember we did it for the sake of our children. I suggest we hire our own private detective to solve this mystery. Detectives? Yes. My dear, this is Nigeria. Are, are those detectives not from the police? What can they do? Please, you people should not be offended by my suggestion. Why don't we go get a native doctor? No! Ah, 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 ah. Native doctor? Yes! How sure are you that uh, those children are not taking to native doctors for money ritual? Ah. Anything is possible? Yes. I think you have a point, dear, my dear. I buy the idea of hiring a private detective. What do you think? I think that's a good suggestion. Uh, it's better than going to a native yes. doctor. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I think we already have a solution to our problem. I have a brother who is trained as a private detective. He's in the country. I think we, we can hire him. Yeah. That's a good suggestion. Yes, yeah? sir. But what about the police who are already involved? Forget the police. Just leave everything about the police for now. Can you imagine? Okay, in one month, they have not been able to unveil anything. I think what we are doing is just trying to help ourselves. It does not stop the police from doing their own thing. Of course. Uh, if, if we meet anywhere tomorrow, we can still walk. Mm. Walk with the police. Please, 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 Mr. Wilson, please. Ah, 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 madam. Madam. It is not as if our policemen are not good. I mean, we all know that they are ill-trained and ill-equipped. You can't imagine a big country like us. You know, we have no forensic science in solving our cases. Imagine. Listen, let's not blame the police. So, can we call my brother now? Darling, do you know how much Kelvin will charge us? I mean, if he charges a mere $1,500, convert that into Nigerian currency, and I bet you would all agree that the police should continue their investigations. Yes. We've not spoken with him yet. We don't even know if he has interest in the matter. Madam, you go ahead and call him. Go ahead. I mean, our kids are involved. What are we talking about? Yes. yes. Oh, well, thank you, Mr. Kelvin. Uh, you see, this matter is straightforward. The police are no longer interested in helping us get to the root of this matter. Hmm? And the hospital people are so frightened, and so we are left hanging. We would like you to take authority and investigate the disappearances of our babies. And you may feel free at the end of this investigation to turn whatever findings you have to the police. Mm. Um, thank you very much, Mr. Clark. Um, I am as involved in this matter as you all are. My nephew is one of the babies that has disappeared. My sister's child. And so I am willing to investigate them. I am willing to do whatever it is I can do. But you see, I want to clearly understand the direction of the investigation you want me to go into. Brother Kevin, you are trying to do this job. I know you can get to the root of this matter. Please help us. I, I, sister, I know. I, of course I know. I, I have just said that I will do the job. 
Okay, okay. But there is a problem. Uh, the hospital. Uh, you know, you, I'm sure you all must have heard about classified medical information. It is usually difficult to get extract information from, from the hospital. Not to worry, Mr. Kelvin. You see, the information you may need to have must come from the medical files of our wives yes. here. Yes. But if you have any problem, we can get a lawyer to prepare a power of attorney which will enable you to access the information you need. No. I agree with you. I agree with you. When I need those information, I need them very, very, very important. Uh, Mr. Kelvin, I thank you for accepting to do this job. But I think we are overlooking one important thing here. And that is the issue of uh, free. Please, how much are you going to collect from us to do this job? <laughs> no, certainly, you can't do this job uh, free for us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I said earlier on that I am as involved in this as you are. I mean, my nephew is one of the children that we are talking about here. I mean, it's, it's unthinkable for me to ask my sister to pay me to find my nephew. And so, I want to extend similar favors to each and every one of you. Oh, oh, brother, thank, thank you. you. Thank ah. you very much. Oh, God, thank yes. you. So, uh, oh, what you do is, it's okay, guys. Not you. all the husbands, uh, let all the husbands go and attend to their businesses while the wives stay behind. Um, I'll take it. Ms. Kelvesa, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's a matter of fact, what would you want to know? Yeah, thank you, MD, for having me. Um, I'd like to have a talk with you concerning procedures in this hospital. Did I hear you say procedures? Yes, procedures. For example, um, what happens to a woman who has been delivered of a baby before she is admitted in your ward? Well, after delivery, the patient is placed under close observation for three hours. And thereafter, if the baby and mother are doing pretty well, a nurse is placed on bed check for every 30 minutes. And this will be all night. Once in 36 to 48 hours, we we'll discharge the patient. Now tell me, um, is it only one nurse that stays in this observation all through the night? Professionally, we are sound here. So we put three people on duty at the same time. Like three nurses alternating, carrying out their functions at their own will. Let us move into the administration of drugs. We give the patients Panadol. That's the only analgesic we give them. But in extreme cases, they can be allowed a dose of analgene. Because they're breastfeeding, we watch what we give them. So what happens to the babies? The babies are no good area. We have a resident pediatrician that takes care of the babies. The nurses are not allowed in any way to get close to the babies. Okay, so of course you know why. Yes. So what, what, what happens to, to this person, uh, mothers in the period preceding administration of energy? Uh, the patient has to be in serious pain. Very agonizing and excruciating pain. But much as you may expect some kind of pain to come from pregnancy, it disappears with the joy of seeing the baby, you know, after which whatever can be born comfortably by the mother. Okay, okay. Ah, it's all right. Now let's talk about security. I want to assume that you have adequate security in and around the hospital premises. You can rest assured, yes. Mm -hmm. Two men for day, two for night. Do you trust them? Yes, to a reasonable extent, yes. Um, of course, you know, there's no way you can get into the heart of a man. But we trust them. If you don't pay them, please, sir, would you be kind enough to tell us how much you paid him? Handsomely. 
5,000 for those on day, 6,000 for those on night. That's good, actually. I mean, that's fair enough. But don't you think, Mr. MD, that um, if I give one of your security men his two years salary up front, I'm talking about 144,000 Naira, wouldn't you think that he would be so excited as to carry out whatever I asked him to because the money is monumental to him but very very small for anybody who wants to steal a baby so what are you insinuating no 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 no, no. I, i'm not insinuating anything mb i'm not insinuating anything here all right but um as a private investigator i am told that when you eliminate the possibilities the impossibilities become possibilities. No, no, no. Are you suggesting? I'm not suggesting anything. I'm not suggesting anything at all. Uh, okay. I'm just trying to put the facts and the clues together. Now tell me. Tell me what you know about the crucifix. What do you imagine? Yes, each time it comes up, it throws me off balance. I feel it's like a serial killer's call card. Mm -hmm. Mr. MD, you are sounding very, very sure and confident that these babies are dead already. No, young man. You came here for me to help you, and presumably for me to help you also. But your line of questioning like this suggests you think I know something. No. You know absolutely nothing about Come on, I am. I, I am not holding anything against you. As a matter of fact, I'm sure that you are as bewildered as I am. But please, tell me all you know about the crucifix. I don't know any more than they appear in the cards. What I puzzle over is the link between a snake with vanished, the crucifix, and the missing babies. Okay, okay. Can I talk to your nurses, please? Okay, not before. Thank you, Mr. Minister. My pleasure. I hope we'll have some other sessions later. Uh, second. So I, I understand you, uh, one of the nurses that uh, looked after the victim. Yes, sir. Mm. Did you notice anything unusual? No. Tell me, did you treat uh, the woman for any ailment? Yes, I did. She complained of severe stomach pain, so I gave her an agile. Mm. How many emails? It's about five. Sister, I guess you have to be very specific here. How many emails did you give her? Five meals. Five meals, that's clear. Okay. Um, what happened next after you administered the energy? I stayed with her until she slept, then I left. I see. Now tell me, uh, did any other nurse, any other person for that matter, see the victim after you left? Yes, the other nurse, Nurse Linda. She saw them several times before morning. Thank you. Please call me. Tell me, Ms. Linda, whose responsibility it is to monitor the use of drugs in this hospital? Well, as trained nurses, we are allowed minimal discretionary use of orals and injectables. I see. Uh, do you have um, checks and balances here? We do, sir. But the matron will give you details. Okay. Um, Ms. Linda, uh, I understand that you're the last person that saw Mr. Clark and Mr. Hodges' name. Sir, that is correct. Yes. The so, babies were fine. Good. Uh, did you notice anything? Mm. Come on, tell me. Yes, yes. I noticed something. Yes, what did you notice? This. Don't say I too. I noticed that each of the mothers 
appeared heavily dazed prior to the disappearance of the babies. Dazed? What do you mean, dazed? How do you mean? I said they were drugged. I mean, the babies were crying and crying, which usually attracted me. And when I got there, I found the mothers still sleeping, and it was very difficult to keep them awake. Okay, now must be there was any other person who saw this woman after that. Well, I don't know if anyone expected it, but on one of the occasions, Eckhans joined me in making the video. You mean Mr. Eckhans? I'm hearing about the disappearance of some babies from the hospital. My lord, what you heard is true. And it's a very bizarre thing. I've been praying for the children and their families too. But, uh, as the parish priest, I would expect that you go and visit them. Or are they not Catholics? They are not all Catholics, my lord, but I visited all of them. And they were so much pleased. Well, so tell me, what is really happening? Well, my lord, four women were delivered of baby boys on different days at the downtown hospital. And as I was made to understand, on the night of the deliveries, the babies vanished from their cups. Father, did you say vanished? Yes, my lord, vanished. And their mothers claimed that they saw a snake in the cups which vanished too. And in place of a snake, they recovered a crucifix of our Lord Jesus Christ in an upside down position, with one limb or the other broken. This, this, this can't be happening here. Have they reported the matter to the police? I should think so, my lord, because on one of my visits to the bereaved families, two police officers came calling. These are strange times, Father. Could someone be sacrificing newborn babies or just stealing them to sell to barren women? Well, my lord, if I should venture an opinion, I would say that it's for some sort of ritual or something. That it would appear that the perpetrators are trying to divert attention by placing the crucifixes in the courts. To say that, who is their responsible? Look, we Catholics carry crucifixes. You carry, I carry, and then. More than the nominations we live in it. Yes, my lord, but we Catholics do carry more than others. Maybe someone is trying to bring the Catholic faith to ridicule. Then uh, we just have to inform the Archbishop immediately. We cannot afford this scandal. And uh, I think I better go and call him now. Uh, 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 my lord, if I if I should just mention this. I couldn't sleep last night. And why? Maybe I'm under some sort of spiritual attack or something. Because all through the night, dogs were just howling and prancing all around my quarters. But strangely enough, when I woke up this morning, I couldn't find a single 
footprint on the ground. Mary, Mother of God. Are you sure of what you were saying? Absolutely. Then we must be fighting against the forces of evil. We Christians must put on the armor of God. Yes, I just have to get to the Archbishop immediately. Sorry about that. Um, I have been very busy and um, the bishop has been on my neck since the disappearances at your place of work. How does that concern the church? Well, you know, it's because of the crucifixes that were found in the cradle. You know, his lordship believes that uh, it's a calculated attempt to ridicule the church. So he's been in constant touch with the Archbishop concerning the matter. Mm. So what are you going to do? Uh, frankly, I don't know except uh, to continue to pray for the families and hope that things will get better. Yeah, prayers. Well, let's not worry about that for now. What can I offer you? Uh, are you sure you can give me what I want? <laughs> what is it you want that I cannot give? Well, knowing the kind of job I'm into, how do and then uh, after it is job, tired and sustained, and all you need is a beautiful sweet massage. Can you give me that, Father? Excuse me. 
Excuse me. Don't tell me. Did you find time to go through the papers? Of course, sir. I got some nice areas of interest in your statement. Like what? Okay, this Okay, you mean the ones uh, you on, on the line? On the line, yes. Okay. Mm. <laughs> you know what, Doreen? Yes, Thankfully, this is... Uh, very interesting. We seem to be making similar observations. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Sit down. Thank you, sir. Yes. Now, let's take this one after the other. Okay? Doreen, the most striking element in this issue, in this whole matter, is what I found out last night, Doreen. What did you find, sir? I went back to that hospital to check how drugs are dispensed. You wouldn't believe what I found. What did you find? I found out that every drop of injection administered is accounted for. And when does that mean, sir? <laughs> Take, for example, an algae. Okay. 200 ml. Hmm? Okay. Now, I found out in this hospital that there is a backup lock book, okay, of adults that have administered an algae. Now, assuming a total of 20 adults are administered 10 ml each of this drug, you are talking about what? 200 ml. Oh, okay, I understand that, but what did you find? Interesting discovery, Dorian found out that the four women who complained of abdominal pains were administered drugs in excess of 40 ml of analgene. Meaning that they were overdosed? Wait. I tried to do a comparative analysis of the case file of those that were administered the drug Fenigan. And guess what I found out? They were also overdrawn by 40 ml. Oh my God. Have you heard, or are you familiar with the drug Fenigan? Yes, of course. Hmm. It's a depressant usually administered in 2.5 ml doses. Good. So, Dorin, you can begin to imagine what would happen when four times the dosage of 
Finnegan is administered by women who complained of being weak after childbirth. Uh -huh. Doesn't does that tell you something, Dorian? It does, it does. But, but sir, how does this thing still mean our puppets? Well, but it assures me that something fishy is going on in that hospital. And when you go back to ask them, they will tell you it was a mistake. You will even put them on alert, at such that they will possibly begin to hide some vital information from you. So, sir, what do we do? I don't know, I don't know, Dorian. Um, there are still a few other things, you know, that I'd like to tidy up. I'd like to find out if there are things religious or irreligious going on. In this of day, course, it is irreligious. But where do you expect to get the answers to your questions from? <sighs> That's a tough one. You know what I think, Dorian? The church. Oh, the church. Okay. I mean, especially this dimension that had to do with the with the snake and the crucifix. Mm. I think we should involve the church. And I think the bishop is in a very good position to unlock this puzzle. Well, even though he is not in that parish, he is the administrative head of the church, so we should start from there. I only hope and pray he finds time to listen to me. Why not? I, I think the Catholic faith is an open-minded one. I mean, I think they won't mind. But uh, I mean, while you're away, I think I have to go in and then, you know, go through the files and see if I could get something more interesting. Hmm. Yes. Okay. Just in case you don't see me at 12 noon. Okay. Can we meet at the Great Lagoon? All right, sir. Uh, Tell me you were traveling. I'm not just traveling, Seminarian. I'm not just traveling, but I'm running away from my dear life. Why? How do you mean? Because the church is no longer safe, Seminarian. The church is no longer safe. 
And come to think of it, Samir, are you the only one that have not witnessed the growling and barking of the dogs every night? Oh, the barking. Is that all? Is that why you're running away? Samir, you call that a small thing. That thing that looks like evil spirits. That barks at night. He said it's a small thing. Oh. Fine, <laughs> wait, fine, wait. Vincent. At least you would have waited for father to come. Explain this to him. I know what oh, you're saying. Oh, supposing I die before father comes. Supposing I die. Look, I, I'm too young to die at this early stage. I'm too young. You won't Sorry, die. Vincent. I'm leaving Seminera, please. Vincent, you won't die. Sorry. Vincent. Vincent, come here. Vincent. Vincent. For good two nights now, we have not been able to sleep. Why? Oh, Father, it has been a very strange and frightening. At night, we could not sleep. We begin to hear dogs barking and running around our windows. But in the morning, we cannot even find any paw prints. It's just as if nothing happened. Well, I've experienced the same thing too. I even mentioned it to the bishop. Father, strange things are actually happening. The first one is the blood in the chalice, now the dogs. And it's God that knows what next. I thought we had been through this blood matter before. Yes, Father, but we are frightened. We would like to talk to the bishop. Maybe he can allay our fears. Or what do you think, Father? Do what your mind tells you to do. Uh, Father, I hope you're not angry with us. Heaven forbid. Why? You have every right to seek explanation to your fears. And personally, I'd like to know what the bishop says, especially on the issue of the blood. It might make oh. sense. Before you know it, they have started spreading rumors that Catholics sacrifice children. My Lord Bishop, talking about child sacrifices, is the practice still in existence? Well, in the 15th century, witches were thought to hold ceremonies called the Sabbath, an occasion for the sacrifices of babies where uh, their flesh is eaten and their blood is drunk. These ceremonies were supposed to have parodied the Christian mass. The leaders of the Spanish Inquisition then prosecuted and executed these wishes for their heretical beliefs and practices. But I tell you that was a very, very long time ago. My Lord Bishop. Has this practice found its way back? Is it back now? How could they? How could they? These witches were, were sentenced to death and burnt at the stake. You see, what I think we have in our hand is a deranged serial killer who steals children in the night and uses the power of evil to overcome their mothers and then puts there this crucifix 
to distract the investigators. But uh, sad enough, my church is very embarrassed by it. My Lord Bishop, what I find confounding, what I cannot explain, is how a dog will growl and howl all through the night. But in the morning, you would find no poor prince on the sand. I can't understand it. Who gave you that information? Where did you get it from? I just hope that my Lord Bishop is not hiding any information from me. I am not hiding anything from me, but this has nothing to do with uh, what we are discussing. Any piece of information is useful to an investigator. My Lord Bishop, so you admit you have been facing a spiritual attack? I admit nothing, young man. And I think you must have to go. But before you go, I have something for you. I have something here that would be of help to you. May God bless and keep you. Thank you, young man. You may go.
deal of evil. From now on, Satan, I repeat you in Jesus' name. It's going to go to Father. I, which Father? You want me to go and stand as far as possible? has happened you must come with me what is the matter what happened paul and stephen are dead
the hands of evil have finally caught up with us. This is a very, very sad thing to hear. How do I explain this to a world ever critical of a Catholic faith? How? Are the corpses still in the parish? Yes, my lord. Um, I think you had better come and take a look so that we can decide what to do. Yes, I will, I will, I will. We have to call the police. Uh, this is a crime scene and uh, we don't have to disturb it. Uh, my, my lord, this, this is a spiritual matter. Do, do we need to report it to the police? So I wash my hands of it. My son, I think fear has beclouded your mind. So I don't tell the police. What do I tell the families of the boys? My son, remove fear out of your mind and be restored. Hold on to this. Sorry, I hope we can keep this right. Well, you can. Um, we'll have to return everything here to the family, so you have to bring it back. back. No problem. You don't have anything to be afraid of, okay? Right. But, um,. One more thing, I, I, I'll still like to speak with the Reverend Father. Well, I'm sorry, he's not I, I know, I know, I know, but I wish I could meet him very soon to speak with him. Can you arrange that? Um, whenever he's available, I'll get in contact. Thank you very much, Seminary. You're welcome. Really very grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Very
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Although there is nothing good about morning, you are aware that the early hours of this day, another baby disappeared from this of the world. Yes. Bring him to five. One, two, three, four, five. Five babies disappearing from this same hospital. I don't think it's good enough for each and every one of us here. Whilst the police and other agents are at work, are seriously trying to unravel the mystery behind this, I have had to state my reputation, do so much explanation to the Nigerian Medical Association on this matter. Yes. Therefore, I have decided, in the interest of our patients in particular, and the general public at large, to discharge all patients and close down this hospital for the time being. What? I regret any inconvenience this may cause each and every one of you, but that's the only option left to me. I don't know if anybody has any questions to ask. Sir, <clears throat> why not we still wait for a while and see what the police will come up with? No! I have had enough embarrassment and I'm not prepared to have any more embarrassment. The closure remains indefinite. Any more questions? No questions, sir. Good. Now the doctors and the metron should see me in my office immediately. Exactly. So, I, I suggest we list the clues we have and evaluate them. And in the process, we might be able to find some strong evidence. So, what clues do you have? Uh, the wrong use of drugs, mm -hmm. the crucifix which the bishop gave you. Forget about the crucifix. All crucifixes are patterned by craftsmen in the same way. So, delete that. But the boy's diary stated that on that day, he performed a miracle on the altar and could not say what it was called. They said he drank 2, 12, 15, 15, 4. Come again. They said he drank 2, 12, 15, 15, 4. That's a code. A code that cannot be ordinarily understood or explained by any human being. Okay. But why? That is what I don't know.
And the next number? Um, 12. 12. And then 15? And another 15. Then 4. Letter number two okay. in that order. The twelfth alphabet is there. I got it. Two. There is nothing to be sorry about. I can see him. We've closed down and everyone's gone. Closed down? Yes. Well, well, um, I was hoping I could um, retrieve my camera. What camera? You see, Doctor, I... Well, Doctor, I actually planted the camera to capture all that had been going on in the world. How come we did not see it? Because you're not supposed to. Let's not waste time. Can we go in?
Given a lady an injection. The snake nurse. No, she's going out. Yes, she's going out to wait for the sedative to take effect. Press the green button. Five, eleven, one, fourteen, nineteen. Five, eleven, one, fourteen, nineteen. Five, eleven, one, fourteen, nineteen. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Five, eleven, one, fourteen. Try spelling Eckers backwards. Snake! So are you seeing that lady? Are you saying 
She's a snake. Now sit down. Fast forward. So there's no how I'm going to talk to this again. Listen to me. Oh God. We are investigating the matter. Please, sir. Can we just end this investigation? As far as I'm concerned, this case is ended. The lady Nos Ekans is a snake, and then she takes the babies to this male snake, and together they did something with the babies. And now the babies are dead. Case closed. I said fast forward that was. Concerning the death of the two mass servants. You have details for me? I have details. Let's sit down. Yes. Good afternoon, my lord. Yes, Catechist, what is it? Uh, I have something important to discuss with you, but I'll come back later. No, no, no. What, what is it about? It's about uh, Father Rev. Yes. Uh, can I whisper it to you, my lord? Yes, come. For some time now, I have observed Father Rev planting flour behind his house between 1 and 2 a.m. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes. Sit down. Sit down.
ladies and gentlemen. Girls are my friend. The rest is up to you. Ah! Ah, children, don't just like that. No. No! I do not accept. Mr. Clark, I say I do not accept. God cannot give us children and Satan walking through the so called priests of God snatch them from us. I said, No! Of course! Of course, it can't happen. Listen, listen, I can understand your emotions. Well, you see, whatever it is you have against this place is only self compassion. I mean, that the altar's voice said he saw him drink real blood during Mass. It's just circumstantial. It's circumstantial. That was no miracle. It was the blood of our children and his So what do we do? If you ask me, I think we should hand this over to the police right now. Well, in my humble opinion, I'll say no. I'll say let us hatch a plot. It is either we confront that man head on. Kill him! Yes, kill him! Let us kill him! Oh no, sir. Yes, I, I, I said, born is not, you said no. No, no, listen, 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 listen. I don't think I will subscribe to that, Mr. Clark. In crime detection, you don't advance criminality with another criminality. Okay? We do not have any tangible evidence against this person. All right? Until we do that, we should not take the laws into Good evening. Ladies, that's good. Inspector I know that you all must have been alarmed, but you don't have to be. By the way, Mr. Kelvin, congratulations once more. You have done a very good job. I have been by your door for the past 30 minutes, and I have listened to everything that you all have said. I mean everything. So, Inspector Jim, are you here to arrest me? On the contrary, I am here to offer my help. Oh, oh thank you, Inspector. Thank you, Inspector. Inspector. Oh, very good. So, we're being hit. So, how do we go wrong? Is this hard?
This is a surprise visit. Uh, so how are you? I'm fine, Father. Well, actually, I came to check on your cousin and to know how she's adapting to Lagos life. First of all, I must thank you for what you did for her. Otherwise, she would be a missing person by now. We thank God, Father. Thank you very much. But actually, she has gone back to school. Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Which means you're all alone in this whole house. Yes, uh, my cook traveled. I am I'm alone in the house, yes. So, how are you coping with loneliness? Uh... I, uh, I, I don't think about loneliness as, as a priest. I, uh, I don't have time to be lonely, I, you know. Yeah, Father, I can be of help to you. I mean, since your cook has traveled, I can do your cooking for you, the cleaning, and every other thing, I can give you comfort. Um. You know, for a priest, Father, you're cute. Uh, I, um, I don't like thinking of myself in that regard. Uh, you know, we, we priests, we are married to the Lord and, um, Hmm? If you, if you know what I mean, uh, <laughs> but there is no law that prohibits you keeping company. He, yes, as as long as it's harmless company, wow. you know what I mean. What can help you? But I can give you comfort. It's harmless. You enjoy it. Um. <laughs> Come on, Father. Oh yeah. is now a prince in my kingdom, the kingdom of he that rules the world. He shall win more souls, for I shall make him stronger than you. He shall bear my name from henceforth, and my spirit shall dwell in him. But fear not, my daughter, for your crown is awaiting you. Your wish is my command, master.
sacrilege that you have committed. The sun shall be darkened from your eyes, and your windows to the world shall be shut and be sent to hell. Receive blindness! Listen to me, Jim. This is not a physical battle. It's a confrontation between the forces of good and the forces of evil. And we can only overcome this particular evil in the name of Jesus Christ. What did you just say? I said, Amen. But I thought you never believed in God. Well, if there is evil, then there must be somebody that is opposite. And if that name is Jesus, then I believe that he's the only one that can save us. Good. Very, very good. Now, we have to fight this battle. We have something for you. Now, take care. What is this? This is the Holy Rosary, okay? It contains the power of God to destroy every walk of the enemy, okay? Is he dead? I, 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 I,
That was impressive. Now it's my turn. May the darkness of Hades descend upon this sanctuary. Love this hands from hell. Appear and destroy! <laughs> Jesus. 
Ale na Marcie nie ma pizza. Ale Luzik. O, fada. O, fada. No weź mi wypadnie. Ale byś się nie Ale byś się Ale byś się Yes, he has dematerialized. Yes, and this land shall be consecrated again. God bless you, my son. God bless you. God bless you. This land shall be consecrated again. Is the one, is the one, is the evil one. 